Well, here I am, little ones. Bet you thought I'd forgotten you. No, sirree. Sure, I'll take care of the place, I said. Love to. Water the plants? Ain't nothing of it. Look after your pets, you say. Huh. What kind of pets are we talking about? Oh, they're real smart, are they? They do anything to get to the raisins in the barn, huh? Well, don't you worry. They won't outsmart me. No, sir. Well, look who's here. I bet my little girl's hungry, huh? <laughs> now, <laughs> you've knocked off my glasses. Okay, guys, this isn't funny. What you do with my glasses? Come on now, I've got work to do. Oh, there they are. Thank goodness. Boy, you guys sure know how to wear a man down, don't you? Well, you got enough kibble to last you for a while. See ya. Load them up. You go, my little one. Drink it all up, so you grow up big and strong like your papa. <laughs> God help us, he has returned. Welcome home. See my pretty babies? 
Why, yes, Ivan. We're parched. Well, then. Drink up, little ones. There you are, Ivan. It's nice to see you again. I chopped the chicken, but I did not kill the broccoli. Mm -hmm. I chopped the chicken. Mr. Hero, no fool on him. There you are, child. Perhaps you can get away with that atrocious behavior at that boarding school. But not here, boy. You're going to learn some manners this summer. Mr. Hero, get back to work. Ivan, dry off your dripping on the marble. I will see to disciplining the child. Yes, Miss Winter. Oh, we hit the road, Jack. Won't come back no more, no more, no more. If you don't start behaving like a proper young man, I shall see to it that your father sent you off to military school. I'll bust out of here, copper. You can just stay in there until your father comes home. Yeah, that'll be 30 years to life. This is cruel and unusual punishment. Check it out, boy, just Richie Rich. No, it's Thurston Howell III. You're wrong, it's Scrooge McDuck. Hey, where's Huey, Dewey, and Louie? You're not sure, man. 
But you just gotta pay the toll. Yeah. Yeah. Because it'd be cash or carnage. I wouldn't try anything if I were you. Several of my friends are nearby, and they'll use any excuse to inflict internal hemorrhaging to your vital organ. Ooh! Man, cut that bull! All of us here know you ain't got no friends? Yeah! You're some piece of snot! Uh-huh. That's why your parents sent you to wait at some kind of boarding school. I'll have you know I successfully sued the last ruffian who tried to lay a hand on me. His parents had to sell out of court for $10,000. Oh, now this I believe. Yeah, me hey, too, man. Guess I'll just have to make sure that they know witnesses. Hold it right there. Hey, for you, punk! Uh, guys, be careful. He's got a comb. Yeah. Oh, uh, he might part my hair on the wrong side, man! Give me that. and I'm supposed to help unload. And I see you've been mooching our raisins. I've never stolen anything in my life. And I'm definitely not a vagabond. You may be right there. You are the strangest looking drifter I've ever seen in my life, pal. You got more leather on you than a cow's butt. Would you keep your voice down? You got a big mouth too, you know. Hey, dork. So there you are. A nice little place here. <sighs> Who's this? This is that that rough, tough friend you've been bragging about. I'm not his friend. Oh, I'm sorry. You must be a sister, right? But you sure are ugly enough. No. Lesson number one: It always pays to keep a couple of rocks in your gloves. Hey, I guess you didn't learn the most important lesson, girly man. You gotta kick them when they're down. <laughs> oh! to be an unusually small prehistoric pterodactyl. An English professor. Simply put, a dinosaur. Cool. Outstanding. Look. Careful. I got it. Look at that. Baby dinosaurs. Outstanding. They're mine. I saw them first. And it's my box car. I'm taking them. Hey, Omi. On the clock. Sorry, Rusty. Pardon me, sir. I'd like to buy this crate of raisins. Well, I don't know. You see, uh... This should cover it. Sealed up nice and tight and have it delivered to this address immediately. Yes, sir. I'll take them. Money 
talks. And rich brats walk. I can send for it. ridiculous behavior immediately. And how many times must I tell you not to bring live poultry into the house? You know I'm allergic to any form of animal. There's no funky chicken in here, Miss Winter. That child must have let a pet loose in the house. You must be here somewhere. On to you, you little pest.
right. I need to talk to you, young man. All right. Confess. What creature did you bring home from boarding school this time? I haven't brought any pets home since you flushed my hamsters down the toilet. What did I tell you about lying, child? It's most unbecoming, especially when you're caught. <laughs> Those dinosaurs are so lifelike. Watch this, Miss Winters. The T-Rex even does the foxtrot. Oh, Lord have mercy. What do they think of next? These had better be the only pets you had. I've got my eye on you, child. That was too close, fellas. Jagger. Hmm. That's an odd name. And Hammer. And Paula. And Madonna. And Elvis? Rock and roll dinosaurs. Outstanding. Hey, wait a minute. There's a number on here. You guys lost? I better check this out. I know if you were mine and I lost you, I'd be pretty worried. Miss Winters disconnected my phone line. It's pretty smart of you. This is Brendan J. Wellington, and I found some, uh, pets of yours, I think. I'll hold them until you get back. My number is 555-9988. Bye. Well, guys, I guess you can stay here until the tailors get back. Is that all right with you? Dinner time. Yes, I said I would buy 20,000 shares. That stock is a real Buck Rogers. Three years from now, we'll be reading the register. Right. Thanks. Hi there, Brandon. Welcome back from school. Yes. Jeffers, in another matter, I want that merger closed by Fed time tomorrow, or you're going to be back being a tape watcher. You understand? Get your elbows off the table, young man. Now, in a legal matter, we need to put some porcupine provisions in our own pink sheets to keep the killer bees away. And eat your broccoli, Brandon. It's brain food. It'll help you to grow up to be as smart as your father. What about the consig bite? You know I hate broccoli. You and Mr. Hero fix it on purpose. Why do you oppose me at every turn? Do you think your father got where he is today by being so contrary? No. He got the he balance because sheets. I taught him to be disciplined and well-behaved, and I intend to do the same to you. So, eat up. Go ahead. You learned to love it just as your father did when he was your age. Well, what about Isn't the assets? Isn't that right, Colin? 
Yes, ma'am. See, your father no. loves broccoli. Show your son how much you like it. Yes, ma'am. I mean, certainly. Call me back. Go on. Do as your father says. Eat. Uh, Colin, I've been looking into some new schools for Brendan. I'd like for you to take a look at some of these brochures. They're all quite interesting. Uh -huh. But I think that this one is the most advantageous. Uh -huh. It's close to home, and uh, they have extracurricular activities, and I think yes. they're very important for him. Uh, languages? And, oh, no, there are several. Which? Well, I, I don't Boarding school? I, let me see the other brochures. Well, all right. Here's another one that I think is quite... <sighs> I just don't know. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I see we're making progress. Good. And I'll go find out how Mr. Hero is doing with dessert. Well, I'll need that on my desk in the morning. Oh, oh. Dad, I want to show you something. Look. That's nice, Brendan. Now, as I was saying yesterday, we can't use the Ma Bell bonds as collateral. That's only a paper profit. Look, it's totally real. Of course it is, Brendan. They're made that way. <sighs> Call me when you have another option. Dad, take a good look. Not now, Brendan. I'm waiting for a conference call from Japan. Yes. Konnichiwa, Yakuza-san. Dad. So, so, I could say. I'm sorry, son. I'll be back before you finish your dessert. Come in, Asai. Kekika Gurdori, Kikiono Bashua Sunday. Here I am, little ones. Bet you thought I'd forgotten you. You must be starving. That's funny. You haven't touched a thing. Hey, where'd they go? Come on, Brandon. Up and at it. Hey. Brandon, hit the deck. Oh, no. I gotta hide you guys. I'm armed and dangerous. I have something to tell you. It better be about my parole. I came to remind you that it's your father's birthday in a few days. Yeah, I know. Very good. <gasps> I know you have some kind of pet hidden here. Honestly, I don't. There must be rats. And I can only assume that you will have no problem if I call an exterminator. <laughs> what on earth was that? Oh, sorry, I must have poked you by accident. I'm thinking of dressing as a pirate today. You did that on purpose, Brendan Wellington. Well, you're not going to get away with anything. Do you hear me? Put some clothes on, you look ridiculous. Stop giving away the leftovers to you people. Good day. Is Brennan home? What? Uh, Yo! Brennan, you home? I'm sorry, you must have the wrong house. Naomi? Ahoy there! What are you doing here? I came to see the dinosaurs. The only dinosaur in this house is Ms. Winners. Let me in, pal, or I blow the whistle to the Wicked Witch of the West. But I could show you my rock collection. That'd be fascinating. Come on in. Ms. Winters, this is my friend Naomi. Hi. 
I put a spoon on it to help it heal. She seems to be doing much better now. Great. So, now you've seen that she's okay, you can leave. I can't believe you live here. This place is so great. Yeah, I'm so lucky. Come on up. This is a blast. I don't jump. Sure you do. Everybody jumps. I don't. Now, I'd like you to leave. I'm not leaving. Those dinosaurs are half mine, and I have visitation rights, you know. I get it. So how much do you want for them? Hey, I'm not that kind of girl. Listen, I'll trade you anything in this room for those dinosaurs. Anything? All of it, if you want. You really don't jump, do you? And I bet you don't play with any of this stuff, either. My dad gives it to me because he doesn't have time to hang with me. So do we have a deal? Let's see how much money you got. Forget it. I changed my mind. Stop! I can't get up. Sure you can. You just have to jump. Okay, okay. You win. Jump, jump. Did you know exterminators are coming to your house? What? Papa Bear, report your position. Over. Papa Bear, this is Alpha Team. We've taken the lawn without any casualties, awaiting further orders. And then, in the fall, my babushka, Yulise will turn a beautiful golden brown. <laughs> he's a spy. How can you tell? He's got an accent. He's talking in code. Okay, we take him on my command. Ready? Three, two, one, go. go. Forget it, turncoat. You're not gonna warn the enemy. Enemy? The rats. Yeah, we saw you talking to the little devils in the tall grass. I was stuck into the tree. A likely story. We just got a distress signal from these coordinates. That he's catch him, I'm kill him. Catch him and kill him, the, the exterminators. exterminators. I think maybe you inhale a little too much pesticide. You do exactly as we say, and we will not turn you in as a sympathizer. Now, you get in there, and you warn those civilians that we are here to liberate them. Yeah. Go on! Liberate. We attack at exactly 1,100 hours. Check. And you can tell them rats, they can run, but they can't hide. How many times I gotta tell you, Ketchum, surprise is our best weapon. Never, I repeat, never forewarn the enemy. Sorry. What are they doing here? Miss Winters hired them to find the dinosaurs. We've got to do something quick. Then, after I sneezed, I saw this vase being knocked over. Whatever are you doing behind the couch? Oh, sorry, sir, ma'am. Uh, we don't want to give our position away to the enemy. Uh, well, anyway, the next noise I heard was a key at the piano being struck. I went to investigate. It closed the lid of the piano right on my fingers. It was simply dreadful. Well, sir, ma'am, I think you've completely misjudged the enemy. You're going to need backup. These are not the tactics of rats. Our intelligence informs us that you've been invaded by ghosts. Ow! I don't care if it's a rat or a ghost. Just find it. Suicide mission, huh? Cool. Okay, chaps, now be quiet. Chaps? That must be a rich person thing. Yo, hurry up. Yo, shut up. Up here.
over here. up here in years. This place is so great. Look. Ah. Isn't this neat? Look, here are the controls. Great, let's set them up. Out of our league or what? Is that a weasel dropping? I don't know. You're the expert. Now go on, taste it. Go on. You've eaten worse. It's a raisin. <laughs> and it's pretty sweet, too. And look, there's more of them. Hey, hold it, will ya? Now stop it. These raisins are gonna lead us right to the rat's den. All right, it's cold. Quick, you guys, hide. Pretty spooky, I kill him. Did you mean what she said downstairs, you know, about the, uh, about the ghosts? Yo, yeah, yo. Somehow it doesn't 
sounds so good when you say it. Yum. Even Madonna says it better than you. Very funny. Hey, let's see what's in here. Look, it's my dad. This train set was his. It must have been cool. Look, he's actually smiling. Hey, check it out. It's the outfit he's wearing in the picture. Gee, I thought my dad never played with toys. Never? He's always working. That's why my mom left him. Of course, he had the best lawyers, so he got me. You're lucky. You're always with your dad. You didn't get to work with him. Yeah, I'm so lucky. Hey, I got a brainstorm. My dad's birthday's coming up. I bet he'd love it if we fixed up his old train set. Naomi, you know a lot about trains. If I got the supplies, would you help me fix it up over the next couple of days? I guess this means we're friends. Well... Ow! Yeah. I'm on my way to the airport now. Well, I want to find out if this deal is a shallow river running fast or bona fide cash cow. Right. Dad, how come you aren't at work? I'll call you then. I gotta catch a flight out in an hour. When are you coming back? Tomorrow. I'll be home in the evening. Promise? Yes. Why? I've got an extra special birthday surprise. Really? Well, then I'll definitely be here. I wouldn't miss it for the world. What do you say we start the festivities at about five-ish? Good. Then we have an appointment. Where are you going with all that junk? On a business trip. Well, see to it that you don't make a mess, Brendan. Yes, ma'am. Have a good trip, Colin. Yes, ma'am. Miss Winters. Give me a break. I'm just getting inspired. Thanks, Elvis. Now that's inspiration. <laughs> Castle needs a bell, and it's missing a clock. And we gotta get some trees for the hills. Right. Dim dum bam bam, make nice new hairdo for you. Yabba dee ba dee bam 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 bim, ba dum bam bira da dum bam bam, ba dum bam bim, ba dum dim 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 bam bam, wabba dee ba dee. 
Are you sure this will work? Positive. We need Ivan Shears to cut some branches off the spruce tree. <laughs> Why don't you just ask him for that? Ivan doesn't like me. I don't know why. I always help him with his chores. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Ivan, darling. Who's saying that? I am. The dogwood tree? I don't believe this. I must be crazy. It's true. The plankton has decided to make its first contact with you because you are so kind and caring to our people. This is impossible. Don't be afraid. My bark is worse than my bite. Grr. I should leave. Leave? That's my job. Come on over and let me throw some shade on you, handsome. So? <laughs> you, uh, really think I'm handsome? <laughs> well, <laughs> I have to admit, I always enjoyed watering your roots. <laughs> I can't wait any longer, Ivan. Come prune me. Oh, I can't. You're much too young. Maybe when you're older, I will climb your branches. I promise. <laughs> I'll wait for you. I want to have a tree house with you. <laughs> For the corners of the mouth. Scrumptious water just Go on. A But I don't know what to say. Think of something. You want to borrow his clock for the train set, don't you? Mr. Hero hates me. That's what you said about Ivan. Now go on. Go on. Scrumptious water chestnut tasty for the food I cook. Don't be cruel, secret agent man. Cheers, Mr. Hero. I just came down to tell you I'm sorry for how I've treated you. Uh, when it comes to your bull, ain't no mountain higher. Really, I am. Uh, you no great pretender. You make a trick with my music your music. Uh, that'll be the day. You give me no R-E-F-P-C-T. Come on. I really like your music. Uh, so, uh, we used to be buddies, remember? Buddy. <laughs> apple pie gave me smiles when we dined. Smiles I gave to get another slice of pie you baked can it be our tastes were so simple then or has time rewritten the recipe if we had the chance to dine together again tell me would we could we tasty Many holiday meals that we shared. Turkey so good to dismember. But now we choose to forget. So it's the aftertaste we will remember whenever we dismember. Okay, okay. You sing the disco inferno with me, and I believe you. Oh, 
Here. Two down, one to go. What's next? Miss Winter's room. I've never been in here before. Expect anything. So this is where she keeps her broom. Look out for that gold bell. We gotta get out of here before she comes back and turns us into toads. Look. Great. Let's go. Wait a minute. Let's look around here for a second. Hey, look at this. She's got a dozen of the same dress in here. Guess Miss Winters doesn't like change. see this. Forget it. Let's go. I didn't know Miss Winters was an orphan. I'm going. Gotcha. I knew you were You're not written as a friend. You came here yesterday to case the joint. I swear I didn't come to steal anything. What is that in your hand? We were just borrowing it for something. We? Brendan and me. Brendan and I. And why would Brendan possibly want a gold bell? Tell her, Brendan. Tell her I didn't steal anything. We were collecting things for his dad's birthday surprise. Just look inside his knapsack. Is this true, Brendan? Just as I thought. Brendan! If I ever catch you near this house again, I'll call the police. Let that be a lesson to you, Brendan. I've told you about those people. Naomi! Naomi! It's Brendan! Hey, yo, Naomi! Where are you? Naomi!
parking over on track five. She and her dad helped me unload that freight car. Thanks. Hey, I thought her father was a conductor. Uh -uh. Naomi? Go away! I came to apologize. I said go away! I'm not leaving! Listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell Ms. Winters the truth. Some friend you turned out to be. I didn't want her to find out about Elvis. She would have taken away the dinosaurs. So she takes me away instead. It was a mistake! Come on, I still want to be friends. We can't. I don't trust you. Come on, Naomi, give me a second chance. I told you I can't trust you. I thought your dad was a conductor. He is. He's a laborer. The guy back there told me. Talk about telling the truth. Get out! Just go away! Uh-oh, here he is again. Careful, guys. I'm gonna be packing another cone. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Payback. Go ahead. I don't care anymore. Can't help it. I feel sorry for the little best. I second that emotion. What has that child been doing? This instant, Brendan. 
You don't. I'll see to it that your father packs you off to military school. Great. I love combat boots. You're a bad little boy. You always were. That's why your father spends so little time with you. He despises you. That's not true! Ah! <laughs> ah! Brandon. 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 Get me out of here. I'll get you for this. I'll tell your boss. He can draw the action, eh? Brandon, let me out. Let me out of here. Aren't you forgetting your little friend? Paula. In here. The others. I'm locking you up and throwing away the key, you little brat. Exterminators coming towards your house. I came to help. You're the best. Here, catch. <laughs> I got an idea. Let's give them a taste of their own medicine. We'll take these little devils down to the POW camp right away, sir! To me, man. Forward! Hard! What's this? Incoming! Hit the deck! Mr. Hero. 
hero, you are fired. Hero, hero, hero. Run, run, Brendan, run, 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 boy, run, run, You are a, a Salavista exterminator. <laughs> I think you need a little watering. <laughs> Idiot! Stop him! Stop him! I guess that's what you call grab grass. And you're fired. <laughs> I'm home. Carla. Yes. I'm sorry I have bad news to relate. What is it? Brendan has run away. What? Just a minute. Yes. Not right now. now. What are you talking about? What do you mean run away? He was very upset when you didn't come home last night. Oh, I know I let him down. It's I just... not your fault. Brendan has to understand that you're a busy man. Yes. No, I can't talk right now. No, do not call me again. He's been very rude to me. I've been quite worried about him. Don't blame yourself. Brendan's been extremely difficult to discipline recently. He's been running around with other problem kids. He's been prone to violent behavior. I suggest that you send him to military school in the fall. The academy certainly straightened you out, remember? You know, I'm always right about these things. Yes, ma'am. What is this doing here? I haven't seen it in ages. Has Brennan ever worn this? I, I don't know. Brendan? Brendan? Dad? Dad! Oh, son, I was so worried about you. Son! Outstanding. I'm glad you like it. I had a lot of help from my friend. Miss Winters, you can forget about sending Brendan to military school. But, uh... uh hey. <whistles> Who are these guys?
They really are amazing. Quite remarkable. Bye bye, so Elvis. <laughs> bye, Paula. I love you all. I'm sure, glad to see you again. Bye, Jagger. Bye, Hammer. <laughs> Elvis. Paula. <laughs> If you guys ever want to come visit, there'll be a room waiting for you. Uh -huh. I'm gonna miss you. I don't know why I didn't check the tailor's phone machine sooner. Usually, I'm pretty sharp at things like that. That's okay. They were in good hands. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Would you look at the size of that belly on this little beast? <laughs> I'd say somebody overfed you. Oh, Mr. Hero, that's you. I'm tough. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> well, I'm off. Bye-bye bye now. Take yeah. yeah. care. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Never can say goodbye. Come safely. Don't forget your seatbelt. Okay. Take care bye -bye. of the dinosaurs. Bye-bye. Bye. Right safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be good. Engine number six is fueled and ready to go. Outstanding. Switcher, track five, please. All ready to go, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Aren't we forgetting something? <clears throat> All aboard. <laughs> Needs work, but we'll have plenty of time to practice it. Try it again. All aboard. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that mallet. Yeah. Got it on? Oh, it's on. Yeah, the gearbox. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Miss Winters, you having a good time? <laughs> <laughs> How about tomorrow, I go down to the store, we got another power pack, and we have another train. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. You're Are we running? Yeah. It's yours.